all of you hope you guys are great so recently hard at updated their package version and due to that a lot of you are facing this particular error when you try to deploy the contract and the contract it's keep getting failed so in this video i'll tell you that what optimization what changes you have to do if you really want to deploy the contract and you won't face this particular issue so you can see that this is the simple script i have i want to deploy a particular erc20 token and you can see currently i'm working on the staking contract platform so it's going to be a staking platform where we allow user to stake their token and earn reward so this is the project for the DeFi and you're going to learn tons of things okay so that we can see we have a lot of contract and we're going to build this contract because all of the contracts are dependent on each other so we can see we have a lot of contracts I'm going to show you everything in detail so just keep it for time being let me open the terminal and let me deploy this particular contract so here I have this particular script you can see this is the script in that I have this deploy file and this is the token I want to deploy so what I will do here I'm simply write the command so I'll say npx I write the command npx hard at node so this will start the local blockchain you can see the hard at blockchain is running in our terminal and now we have to deploy the contract locally so the same error you will face when you will deploy the contract locally or you will pick any network you will face the exact error because if it's not work locally then how you expect that it will work on the <laughs> any particular network so this is the particular Command, I hope you guys are familiar with this npx hard at and node and we are deploying to the localhost. All we have to do is to hit enter and it will throw a, an error. So let me show you. You can see we are getting this particular error. We have no issue in the contract. If I bring this particular right up here, you can see we are getting this particular error that key argument deployed value like it's a type error. Sometimes you will get the error like the contract function which getting call on the on the deploy function is not there okay so sometime you will get this error and sometime you will get other error as well but the solution is same for the all the errors which you will face in the deployment so you can see it's not working if i simply clear the terminal and try to redeploy that it will throw me the exact error and if i show you the deploy script this is the exact thing we have followed in our nft marketplace and whatever project we have built we have simply taken the ether package from hard Hat, then we are calling this particular package and then we are calling this particular method get contract factory and then we are passing the name of the contract then we are deploying that one then we are waiting for the deployment and we are simply logging out the address that's the exact thing if i show you so this is the nft marketplace project i hope you guys have already built that one this is the exact thing we have done here this is the exact thing we have done here so let's come back here in the terminal and now the easiest fixed is right now you can see the package i'm using here in this particular project is this one like 2.16.1 so this one is the updated package version for both the harder toolbox and the harder itself if you come back to the like the nft marketplace and whatever project we have used built so far if i go back to the package json file in that you will see that here we have used different hardware version so it's a 2.11.2 version and this one is the 2 okay so there is a difference in the package and because of that you are getting the error so the latest package has a different configuration so whatever configuration we have done here in the deploy it will not work with the new package so this is what you have to do i have already written that one so what i will do i'll simply comment this one and here i have written that one i will simply come up here and i'm going to uncomment this all so here you can see I have this two contract. This one is for the staking contract and this is for the token one. And this is the exact configuration you have to do. So in the latest version of the hardware package, that's the configuration. So instead of calling this, this get contract factory, you have to call this one. You have to call the same hardware package and you have to call this deploy contract and the name of the contract. And here you have to call wait for development. Here we call the same method deploy, but here is a change. It will call wait for deployment and instead of getting the address so what we done in the old method we call this address to get the contract address but here we have to call the target so when we call the target it will give us the address of that particular token and so now what i will do i'll simply bring it here and i'm going to simply clear the terminal and now let me deploy the contract it will work absolutely fine so let me go back to the previous command this is the exact command i have run previously and that's what i'm going to do it here hit enter and this time we will not have any issue you can see our contract deployed successfully and we got the address back you can easily able to check the entire object we'll get here so what i will do here i'll simply come here 
console dot log and here we have to simply get the entire the blockchain coder the entire object like this will return the entire data of your deploy contract so you can able to find that what are the value you have available in the updated version of the hardware and what are the value you have in the old one so what i will do here i'm going to simply clear the terminal and here i'm trying to log out the entire deployed contract object so uh, let me deploy it one more time and you can see this time i will get this entire object of the contract so you can see we have tons of function here we have tons of function here so this is the address which is called target and here we have the entire interface which we can use if we want the data this is the deployment we are not passing any argument in the construction so it's empty and here you can able to find the gas the address we have used for deployment of the contract and the provider we have used it's a local host and the filter one okay so that's what you have to do if you are getting this particular error message so whatever project we have built so far on our channel all of those projects are using the old version of our hardware package old version this one so if you are using this nft marketplace so make sure to use the exact version we have defined so whatever project we have built you have to install the exact version because if you install any other version it's not going to work so that's the thing you have to keep in mind so because of that you guys are getting this error so this is how you can fix this i hope this video will help you so like if you want to use this hard at the latest version that's the configuration you have to do in your deploy script and that's the same thing you have to do in the testing so if you are testing the nomic foundation there is also an update so you can able to find that what are the variables they have provided so all you have to do is to come back here in the hard at deployment script here they have updated all the data that what data you will have in the test mode what data you have to configure if you want to deploy that's all information you will find here and you can use it for different framework if you want to customize it but i would suggest you that's the simplest way to go all you have to do is to simply do these changes in the deployment script instead of target we have to address we have to use target we have to use this particular method and you have to use this deploy contract and that will successfully deploy your token to any network so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and now you guys know that what are the changes you have to do in your project if you want to deploy the contract using hard at and how you can do it with the latest version and if you want to use the old version you can definitely use that there is no issues in that but you can have a look and very soon we're going to start working on the project you can see i'm almost done with the entire contract i'm almost done with the front end as well i'm just connecting the functionality with the front end and the contract so we have the address we have the context we have the e ierc20 interface we have the initializer we have the log we have honorable we have re intrinsic guard we have the token and this is the entire contract and that's a huge one you can see and all of these contracts are dependent on one another so if you really want to provide the staking kind of feature into your dapp you need to know every single thing about the defi the protocol how you can prevent your contract to be getting hacked so all of the things you have to know so i'll try to go a little slow i'll try to explain each one of the contract in deep that what this particular contract is doing what is the role of this contract what is the role of the context because when you work on a defi protocols you have to do a lot of things because you will use custom token you will use external token and you're going to allow user to calculate the pricing so there is tons of things are happening this it's not like a just a simple like a nft contract that's a fairly simple contract but this one is a little complex because a lot of things are dependent on one another and what we have done we are not using any external library we are going to write every single thing from scratch and this is going to be more customizable we're going to customize as per our need so in this way you will know every single thing that what you have to do when you will write the contract for the real world dav project okay so in that way you will have a real understanding that how you can write the contract and what are the things you have to keep in mind in terms of security in terms of authentication in terms of reward in terms of price fluctuation that's all we going to cover in detail so you guys will have a better understanding so that's the only thing i want to talk about and i believe that you guys have come across this issue definitely you will come if you will follow the project and you will install the latest version of the hardware so make sure to do this change in the deploy script and that will fix your issue so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have found this video valuable if you still have any confusion and doubt do let me know in the comment section and i want to tell you one more thing recently i have launched my course so simply come back to the blockchain coder and if you really want to master web2 development if you really want to understand that how to use the redux toolkit then this is the course for you you can watch this one you can click on here and you can come here 
you can simply scroll down and you can watch that what you will build because this will teach you every single thing which you have to know as a developer if you want to be good with the data if you want to good be the api calls if you want to build any kind of application which rich of data then this is the project which you have to build because whatever technology we have used in this project that's up to date that's the technology is really demandable right now in the industry so i want you to come and have a look look at the modules that what you will learn okay look at the look at the api section we're going to make you master in this redux toolkit for manage the state so whenever you will go for any interview right now in the web2 companies if you want to build any application they use redux toolkits extensively and it's it's, it's and it's really so powerful and this Redux toolkit is so powerful. So, so far we have used context management in our application for managing the state, but this one is absolutely amazing. This will change the data structure of your application. So I must tell you, come and have a look, try to understand, compare it. And if you like, you can simply be able to take this course because a lot of users have already taken that and I'm getting phenomenal response from all of you guys. So I want you to come and have a look and just do let me know your feedback that what do you think about this particular course and what else i can include because you will take the course you will have a lifetime access so whenever i'm going to make any update that's all i'm going to put into this whenever any new technology will come so you will get the real hand learning okay so i want to come and have a look that will give you a real push if you really want to learn about the web 2 development and once you have a proper understanding about the web 2 development that how things work exactly how to build app how to design the beautiful ui how to call the data in the front end then it would be very easy for you to interact with the blockchain because there you have to deal with the data there you have to build the logic to contract build the logic to connect with the front end and you want to use this redux toolkit to manage the entire state once you will understand all of this thing it will make you a better developer so you can work in any type of any type of data segment or any type of application which you want to build okay so that's the only thing i want to say from my end hope you guys have liked this video and you guys have fixed the issue which you guys are facing long back and many of you have requested me the only thing i will talk about in this video hope you guys have liked it if you are new to my channel hit like and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section that you liked it and i release a lot of courses on my youtube channel you can come and have a look at what kind of contacts and make recently i uploaded this particular course and that we are building the metamask clone you can have a look you can come and have a look that what are the things i have done that will give you a better idea about my content type and what you can expect from the channel so that's the only thing from my end have a wonderful day bye, -bye.